So we know how hip hop has just been for years anyways, and just mm -hmm. how the industry, as you know, this is still new to a lot of people. Are you a cheater? No, I used to be a cheater. I'm not a cheater no more. Used to be. I'm a, I'm a truth teller now. You're an honest man. Honest. Door and him and a man ran out naked, and I said, Yeah, Miami. No, she don't. Yeah, she do. What she said about you? She said a lot. No, she don't. She put my personal business out there. That's mm -hmm. how I started Carisha Please, because she just kept <clears throat> naming multiple men that I was there. The door. If I washed the door and him and a man ran out naked, and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. Oh boy, hold on to your hats, folks. The rumors swirling around Diddy are starting to sound like a wild game of telephone. According to The Grapevine, the rapper's supposed relationship with Young Miami was nothing more than a smokescreen for his secret romance with Saucy Santana. Talk about a plot twist. We all knew their relationship was unconventional, but this is a whole new level of unexpected. People have been whispering about Diddy being on the DL for ages, but is there any truth to it? Well, it's time to roll up our sleeves and dig deep to uncover the facts. Breaking news, folks. Diddy has welcomed his seventh child into the world and he's over the moon about it. He took to social media to gush about his expanding brood, saying, Mama Combs, Quincy, Justin, Christian, Chance, Delilah, Jesse and myself all love you so much. God is the greatest. Now, let's clear the air, shall we? Contrary to popular belief, Young Miami did not have any children with Diddy. But here's where things get interesting. The hip-hop tycoon's lady love has a different perspective on dating. In an interview with 50 Magazine, she explained that she and Diddy are both technically single, but still seeing each other. We are dating, we're single, but we're dating, she said at the time. People don't know what dating means. He's single, I'm single, but we're dating. That's what I mean when I say we go together. When we're together, we're together. We're having the time of our lives, but we're still single. Him? Sounds like things are a little more complicated than we thought. Everyone had their own take on the situation, and the reactions ranged from shock to outrage. Some folks speculated that Diddy only had the baby because the public found out about his relationship with Saucy Santana. One Twitter user even quipped, Diddy had a baby just cause we onto him and Santana relationship. Anyways, meanwhile, others suggested that young Miami, Diddy's supposed main squeeze, might be feeling pretty blindsided right about now. One Twitter user hilariously commented, Long and all Diddy had a side baby on his allegedly not so side chick, but word on the street is that Diddy likes men and was fucking saucy Santana. Yikes, talk about drama. Diddy previously 2K to Twitter saying that young Miami was not his side chick when the rumors got out of control. But you Miami 305 is not my side chick. Never has been, never will be. She's very important and special to me, and I don't play about my shoddy wop. I don't discuss things on the internet and I will not start today. You can talk the talk, Diddy, but your actions are telling a different story. In fact, there are some pretty wild rumors circulating that suggest your relationship with Young Miami was just a smokescreen for some steamy shenanigans with Saucy. You lay leg, things just got a whole lot juicier. One eagle-eyed fan even pointed out that the signs were there all along, especially when you consider Diddy's affinity for men who like to dress up. Apparently, he once called up 50 Cent and asked him to take him shopping. I have been said this when it came out that him and Kersha was dating. Just look at how Santana came up on the clothes and jewelry dot we all know how Diddy loves to take men shopping for clothes. Remember who Diddy asked 50 Cent can he take him shopping? Plus Diddy had to give Kersha that talk show so she can keep her mouth closed. Well, 50 has exposed the incident as an irritating interaction that he had with Diddy when he was fairly a newbie. I get uncomfortable. Like he said, he said something to me one time a long time ago a at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me he'd take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the f But we all know that Diddy does not bound himself to a relationship. He has cheated numerous times as well. In an interview with Young Miami, he refused to admit that he is a taken man. So what we is? We date. We dating. We go have dates. Hold up. Did you know that Diddy has been shelling out some serious cash to his alleged side chick? That's right. Rumor has it that he's been giving her a hefty allowance while she plays the role of his girlfriend. And get this, she once even threatened to break up their relationship when Diddy reduced her allowance from a whooping $500k to $200k. Talk about expensive taste. But despite all the drama, she seems to have some pretty solid advice for keeping men interested. In an Instagram live session, she suggested that you need to match their energy if you want them to stick around. Hmm, sounds like she might have learned this lesson the hard way. While she seems to be cool with Saucy Santana, things are definitely not as rosy with Diddy's ex, Gina Hine. When Diddy hosted the 22 Billboards Awards, Gina posted some photos of herself with him, including one where Diddy is kissing her on the cheek. 
needless to say, his alleged side chick was not happy about it and the claws came out. Miami blew up on her and took on Instagram calling her an attention seeker, somebody please give this PH some attention. In a rail of fighting posts, Miami called out Gina for clinging to her boyfriend cause she is desperate to be famous, notice me please a PH go sit down. We see you relax, it's okay. You've been just for years. You've been waiting on this moment if he can't make you famous, BH I ain't. Gina, girl, you can bark all you want, but Diddy is not hearing it. According to her, she was so in love with him that she couldn't stay away. Hum, sounds like a recipe for disaster if you ask me. But it looks like Diddy's secrets are starting to come out. His former security guard, Keefe D, spilled some juicy details about the wild gay parties that Diddy used to attend with the list celebrities like Will Smith. And it's going on here. It's just a lot of, a lot of weird dude. And if that wasn't enough, a transgender activist has exposed that Diddy has been using transgender prostitution services for years. Looks like he's been keeping his preferences under wraps for quite some time. And let's not forget about Diddy's alleged boy toys in the industry. YK Osiris has even alluded to the rumors in an interview with The Breakfast Club. Well, the fans believe that even though he did not downright confess, his body language confirmed everything for him. His facial reaction and body language confirmed it. It is so true he literally feels it under his his skin and is uneasy. Feeling like being cornered, he almost walked out. Jumpy guilty, he can't even look them in the eye and his hands are all over. I don't know what to do pretending to be busy like it has nothing to do with conversation. Don't want to be any part of it. Danny Boy, who's now openly gay, spilled the tea about his past rendezvous with supposedly straight dudes. However, he made it clear that he won't be outing anyone. But he's tired of the hypocrisy and discrimination against the LGBTQ plus community in the industry. I did some things with, you know, between me and the homies. You know, and um, it would be considered gay. But wait, there's more. Diddy, who's been rumored to be part of the closeted crew, was caught on video drunk and calling Fabulous Daddy in a seductive tone at a party. It's, it, it just baffled me how a lot of people turn it into hate when there's more people walking around that's gay than people know. When confronted about it on The Breakfast Club, Diddy denied having seen any footage. Hmm, we're not sure we're buying that, Diddy. Like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, you my daddy, yeah, I like when you're oh, you right scrambling right and scraping no, 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 no. shit. In fact, the rumors surrounding Diddy's sexuality have been around for years, and it seems that they're not going away anytime soon. And that was not the only time Diddy had acted like that. In a live stream with Kevin Hart, he revealed that he and Usher used to sleep in the same bed. He said, that's my brother right here, from day one we used to wake up, and, I mean, damn, pause. But, like, check this out, you know what I'm saying, this is my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the, frosted flakes, because he used to always get up earlier than me, and now he's one of the richest stars in the world, and I love him. Perhaps that's why people say that alcohol is the truth serum, revealing everything that's been bottled up inside. It seems that Rick Ross has been privy to all the industry's secrets, as he publicly stated that hip-hop has embraced the LGBT community. However, it's not hard to imagine that Rick didn't want to get on the wrong side of the influential mogul. He may have given that statement to avoid offending Diddy. Although all of these revelations are relatively recent, there was someone who had already picked up on Diddy's sexual orientation long before anyone else had even an inkling. Wendy Williams spoke out about this during an interview with Vlad, stating that all of her allegations have been proven true. Hip-hop wearing skirts or hip-hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood and men. You know, and denial of something of something that you shouldn't have to deny. There were many situations back in the day, in my career, and it's all coming full circle now. That's it for today. Until next time, goodbye.